How's it going guys? I'm Ross from Seconds Out Fight Store. Today we are reviewing these, the Fortress Pro Elite Super Slim Slip-On Fast Wraps. And these are a professional style hand wrap that you slip onto your hand and is ready to use in seconds. Now you may be thinking if you haven't seen these before that they're similar to the traditional gel hand wraps that beginners use. So this sort of thing here is a wee bit of gel padding in the knuckles, a bit of wrap to go around your wrist, beginners will use this if they don't know how to wrap their hands or they just want something quick and easy to get on and off these fortress wraps are completely different they're designed at the professional end of the market not necessarily just for professionals maybe you're just somebody who trains a lot you're a fighter of any level boxing mma muay thai these are an excellent excellent shout i've had a bit of a bad right hand for a few years now and i've always worn five meter hand wraps knuckle pads i've used analgesic cream or deep heat or something to help take away the pain and it works to a certain extent but nothing to the same level these fortress wraps do i've been using this model for about a couple of months now and i've noticed a massive difference in training and hitting the bags and pads my hand doesn't hurt anywhere near as much i barely feel a thing now if anything they're worn by some of the best fighters in the world uh, vasily lomachenko is probably the easiest one to point out the most well known uh, he used them for one of his fight camps after he broke his hand and had amazing results with them and you you can see that one inch of multi-layer foam pad in there that really gives you incredible protection. It's uh, designed to be exactly like getting your hand wrapped with tape and bandages. What a lot of fighters will do previously and still do is they'll get their hands wrapped before training as a like, professional hand wrap with tape and bandages. Do their training session and then cut up this way here and slide them off and reuse them for the next few days or weeks. And that's brilliant because it gives you a pro style hand wrap like this that you can just slip on. The downside is because it is made from tape and bandages, all the sweat soaks into the tape, the bandage, the tape starts to deteriorate and you find probably after a week you're having to do the exact same thing again or you're wearing horrible wraps that have just got covered in sweat. It's not the most hygienic to protect your hands. It may look like a cheaper option as well because you're only spending a couple of pounds on bandages, uh, a couple of pounds on tape. So, you know, you could be wrapping your hands for about five, maybe 10 pounds, depending on what kind of tape you use. But long term, it's going to cost a lot more than what these do. So you might initially be a bit put off by the price. I was at first as well. Um, they're £60 for this model here. There's also the other fast straps model which is 75 and literally the only difference is the the wrist support just there you can see um this one here has got the the string attachment here to give you a bit of protection around the wrist and this one doesn't the one we're reviewing today doesn't you just slip it straight on so yeah 60 pound i thought at first ah 60 pound why would you pay that why would you not just go and buy a pair of five pound hand wraps and wrap your hands like that and to be honest that's a Brilliant shout, if you're only training maybe a couple of times a week or something, you don't suffer from any hand injuries, honestly, I would say just keep using normal hand wraps if you don't have any problems with them. But if you are training a lot, you've maybe got bad hands, or even if you don't, but you're just training a lot and you really want to protect them, then this is the best option for me. It takes a lot of time away from getting your hand wrapped, even with traditional hand wraps, or especially with tape and bandages. If any of you watching this video have fought before, you'll know how long it takes to get your hand wrapped with tape and bandages. It takes ages. So not only do these protect your hands, but also saves you a lot of time before training. We're going to start by showing you how easy and quick these are to take on and off. Uh, let me just roll my sleeve up there. You can see uh, which hand this is for by the way it's shaped. So this is for your pinky. This is for your index finger, so the small finger to the big finger. This means this one's for my right hand. And all you do is take off these three material straps here, which are designed to replicate thin layers of tape that you would usually use to support the knuckle pad if you're using bandages to stop that from sliding down. You slide your hand in, just like this, pulling down on this bit here, and your fingers go through the through the gap just there when you do get them you want to avoid the temptation of pulling them right on like that you can see that slides almost past my knuckles there um you want this to be sitting bang on your knuckles so something like this these ones are a large size it's probably a little big for me i'd, I'd probably be a medium in these um and then all you do is the material straps come underneath the fortress wrap and then comes out and you wrap them over the it lines up with the the black material bits just here as you can see and then you're pretty much good to go so uh you can see that's it literally in a few seconds we've got that all wrapped up and ready to go in the box you also get a two meter hand wrap a fortress hand wrap just here so it's got that nice false leather uh 
tag on the side there and the velcro and then it's got the nice fortress branding on them as well so it's a two meter wrap just a traditional uh, stretch material hand wrap a two meter one and this is designed for supporting your wrist mostly you can see while i've got amazing knuckle protection here my wrist is a little bit exposed i don't have as much protection with that so like you would do with the bandages if you were getting your hand wrapped that way you use the hand wrap to support your wrist and you can wrap the thumb if you want as well i'm guessing if you're watching this video you probably train a lot and you've wrapped your hands a million times before so i'm not going to show you how to do that if you do need any tips on wrapping your hands we've done a, a guide on a previous video on how to wrap your hands so you can check that out so you can wrap the the thumb if you want the one that i do want to show you is how far up to to wrap your hands so after i've wrapped the thumb this is as far up as the the wrap needs to go you've got all that knuckle padding just there and this is just to cover up the the velcro strap there just so these don't come away so wrap this bit here and then go back down your wrist and I've just done this quickly so it's not uh may not be ideal there's a million different ways of wrapping your hand you've probably got your own way of doing it but that gives you a rough idea of how it looks once it's done i've got a really nice snug secure fit on my wrist that really feels nice and tight i've got that amazing knuckle protection that multi-layer foam padding in the knuckles there so that's me good to go that's literally taking me about 10 seconds to wrap my hands to the same way that I would if I was spending maybe half an hour getting my hand wrapped with tape and bandages. Once you've got your wraps on and you're putting them into your glove, you might notice without doing this next tip that the glove feels a little bit tight. So what you need to do, because it is a big chunk of knuckle pad in here, you need to allow a little bit of extra space. Every glove's made different, but generally you'll need to allow a little bit of extra space to accommodate the fortress wrap going in. There's instructions in the box of what to do with this next bit, but what you want to do is take a rolled up tea towel or a t-shirt and stick that right up into the glove. So you want to take that and push it right up into the knuckle compartment. And it doesn't so much stretch the leather of the glove, it just pushes the padding in the knuckles further forward. So it helps accommodate a wee bit more space for this fortress wrap almost like a pocket they say to allow that wee bit extra space to let the wrap go into and sit comfortably i've got a pair of cleto raised gloves which are sometimes known as being made a bit bigger um, and i still had to do that i've not got particularly big hands but I, I tried a session without doing it and then i tried my sessions after i had done it and it was a massive difference definitely recommend doing that option as i said the instructions are all in there on what to do but it's basically just taking a rolled up tea towel or t-shirt and just pushing it up into the knuckle compartment and leaving that overnight and then you're good to go after that so what we're going to do now is uh, give you a wee look around the fortress wraps up close so you can see how they look what you get included in the box and then we'll give you a couple of tips on how to care for them make sure they last as long as possible this is the box your fortress hand wraps will come in so if you're giving them as a gift or anything it's a, a really nice touch having them in this uh, presentation type box and inside you obviously get two of the fortress hand wraps there's a pair of two meter stretch branded hand wraps and fortress to go around your thumb and your wrist. There's a care guide as well, some general tips and everything on the inside, some instructions and things. And they come in this white with black color or plain black. And the first thing you notice when you get them for the first time is how lightweight they are. You can't tell from the video, obviously, but they're very, very lightweight. They're made from a high quality breathable mesh material so they help keep your hands nice and cool when you're wearing them they've got the three, three velcro straps just there that helps replicate the uh, thin layers of tape that would stop a knuckle pad from falling down if we look at the inside there's the nice fortress branding on the inside of the wrist the inside material is made from a soft kind of like a suede type material it's very soft and comfortable as soon as you put it on for the first time so these are very very well put together there's nothing much else to show you on them up close to be honest but they're very well put together very lightweight and keep your hands nice and cool and obviously give you that amazing knuckle protection as well Okay, so that was a look at the Fortress slip-on hand wraps up close. A couple of tips on caring for these to make sure they last as long as possible. Like with any boxing equipment, you definitely want to make sure that you're airing your bag after you've trained. So 
keep your bag open when you get home, take stuff like this out of it and just let the air get at it so it doesn't sit in a sweaty bag, gathering mold and deteriorating. It's the quickest way to make sure any of your equipment doesn't last very long at all, especially when you're spending 60 or 75 pound depending on which model you go for, you definitely want to make sure it's lasting as long as possible. You can stick them in the washing machine on a 30 degree wash, uh, Fortress's website uh, says that you can do that no problem. If you were going to do that I'd definitely stick them in some kind of washing bag first uh, then put them in the machine on their own and wash them that way. I've had mine about a couple of months now, I've maybe washed them two or three times something like that um, but I've hand washed them, I've put them in a washing bag and then just hand washed them and that seems to do the job no problem for me. So I hope this review has been of some help, uh, you can pick up these Fortress wraps and lots more on our website at seconds-out.co.uk where we have worldwide shipping. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, anything at all, just stick them in the section below. I always like to hear what people think of the videos. And until then, we'll see you next time. Cheers.